So it is time for my evaluation of my task list for December 2023. And the first point that I had on my list was that uh, I should exercise at least uh, three times per week, uh, 40 minutes each time. And uh, I have partly failed and partly not failed because I have been able to exercise at least 40 minutes each time. And that's super good for me. But uh, I haven't been able to manage to exercise uh, three times a week. And um, the reason for that is I simply haven't felt motivated enough to do it. And I also have had a lot of things going on in my private life in December with Christmas and work and stuff like that. So I haven't felt motivated for it. And uh, I decided to take a break. So the status of that is still to do. So the next point is that I'm only going to eat vegetarian food at home. And this is something that I have passed. I have been eating a little bit of meat because I had some leftover meat from November that I needed to eat. But uh, anyways, I think I have passed that. And honestly, I did this because um, I was so tired of eating meat. The next point that I had was that I'm going to book tickets to my grandma and technically I booked my tickets the 1st of January so I didn't do it in December but anyway I think that I'm going to say that to Dan also I haven't visited her of course because it's the 3rd of January now but in about uh, two and a half weeks I'm going to visit her and I haven't seen her for many years and she's elderly lives alone so that's going to be nice so the next point that i had written was uh, that i should keep about it and let's just straight out say that i failed that one and uh, the reason is i had to go to the dentist and something that is not free here in sweden is uh, dentist care we got universal health care but uh, dentists is not included in that so yeah it was expensive but um I had some problems with my teeth, some holes that uh, they needed to fix, so better to do it now than later on. So let's leave that on to do. And the next point that you see here that I had written was that I should go back to my normal dose of antidepressants. And uh, this is something that I have done. So let's just move that to done. And uh, I'm feeling better now. I feel quite normal in my mental state and uh, that's the most important thing, I think. So going back to my normal dose of antidepressants was a good call. I'm still on a very low dose, but um, it was a good call and I'm happy with that. I'm going to continue like that for some times. And now it is time for the most exciting part of this uh, evaluation yes i did apply for a new apartment so i'm going to set that to done not only did i apply for a new apartment but listen i signed a new contract please on a rent apartment and that actually surprised me that i actually got a new contract because it is very difficult to get an apartment in this city. And I mean, the rent on that apartment is 25% less than I have on this current apartment. The size of the apartment is 45 square meters and I'm currently living on 47 square meters. So it's about the same size. It is closer to work. I can literally just go to work every morning because it takes probably less than 15 minutes for me to go to work. And it is also closer to one of the two main railway stations here in this city. It is just like 20 minutes bike ride from the city center, maybe even less. So of course I signed the apartment and standard of the apartment is about the same as this one. So, I mean, it's closer to work close to a train t station, close to the city center, and the rent is 25% less with the same standard. And I do get access to that apartment. 
the 1st of April 2024, so it's still a couple of months away. And I ended my current uh, contract on another landlord at the last day of April. So I have one month that I have to pay double rent because otherwise I would have to move out of my current apartment the last of uh, March and I want to have one month of just cleaning my apartment and moving out and uh, I think that it is worth it because otherwise it's too stressful for me to, to move. I'm just blown away and super happy about it. So if you liked the video, hit the like button, share, subscribe. I really appreciate that, so thanks for that. Now is usually the part where I write my goals for the next month, which for now would be the current month, January, because I'm doing this a little bit late, but um, I have decided not to make any goals for January, and that is simply because um, with the new apartment and uh, how I, in general, have felt in December, didn't really have the energy and time to to set up any goals for January. I had a lot of things going on, both uh, privately and uh, at work and so on, so I just didn't find the time and energy to, to sit down and uh, make some goals. And hopefully I will make some goals for for uh, February, so I might come back then and do a video about that, but we'll see about that. But I will probably make some comments for February, but not now for January. It is freezingly cold out here in northern Sweden. It's like 30 degrees Celsius below zero, so it's un unbelievably cold. But anyway, you probably don't want to hear about that, so just disregard that and uh, it's time to end this vlog now. Bye.